the text tool set, is used to add titles, labels, captions, or other text to your PhotoKey 4 projects. The size, color, and general appearance of the text can be adjusted to suit your needs or preferences. To create a new text item, click the Add Text button at the top of the Text Items panel. You can continue adding new text items by clicking this button whenever you need to. Use the Remove Text button to delete the selected text item from the project. You can also use the tick box next to the name of each text item to disable it without deleting it. When a text item is selected, the Properties panel for that item will display in the lower portion of the toolbox. At the top of the Properties panel in PhotoKey 4 Pro, there is a menu. This menu is not found in the standard version of PhotoKey 4. Other than this menu, the text tool set is identical in both the standard and pro versions of the software. In this menu, you can select the content of your text item. The default Use Custom option allows you to enter any text you want by clicking in the text box where it says Type Text Here. This option functions exactly the same as the text tool in the standard version of PhotoKey 4. The other two choices in the menu are exclusive to the Pro version and make it easier to keep track of the many images which may be included in a batch in PhotoKey 4 Pro. Use File Name allows you to automatically tag each image in your batch with its unique file name. An example of where this might be useful is if you are printing out proofs for a client to make selections from. Having the file name on each image makes it very easy to keep track of which images they select. And as we step forward to the next image, you can see that the name changes, so each image has its own name displayed. Use File Path provides another option for keeping track of multiple images, especially useful if the images have been imported from various locations on your computer or network. Let's switch back to the Use Custom option, which applies equally to all versions of PhotoKey 4. The selected text item can be repositioned using the same techniques as any other element in your project. The square handle will adjust the size, and the round handle controls the rotation. Click anywhere inside the dotted green bounding box and drag to reposition the text on the canvas. The font menu allows you to choose a typeface for your selected text item from any of the fonts that are installed on your system. The bold, italic, and underline buttons allow you to quickly apply various styles to the text. Below them are three alignment buttons, which allow you to left justify, center, or right justify the text item. These will primarily be used for text items containing multiple lines of text. However, they can also be useful when resizing text items. The origin point of the text item will move depending on which alignment is used. So if you know you want a bit of text aligned to the left, for example, in this case the left side of our text uh, due to our rotation is now at the top of the canvas, but since we're using left alignment, we can adjust the size of the text but our alignment with that top corner of the image remains unchanged. The color control works the same as when it appears elsewhere in the PhotoKey interface. To change the color, click the Change button and select a new color using the Color Picker. In addition to using the square control handle to adjust the size, you can also use the slider in the Properties panel to perform the same function. Transparency adjusts the degree to which the image shows through the text. A quick and easy way to create watermarks is to add a text item using increased transparency. You can easily add copyright info or other data to your images with this technique. The angle control is the same as in the other positioning tools. You can adjust the angle of the text by clicking and dragging the round handle on the canvas or by dragging the handle in the angle wheel of the toolbox. If you need a precise angle, you can manually enter it into the data field. 
You can add multiple text items to your project and use different properties for each one. For example here if I add a copyright I can adjust not only the position and scale independently of the other text but I can also choose a different font and control the other properties independently as well. You can also rearrange the order in which your text items are stacked using the up and down arrows next to their names in the text items panel. This could be useful if some of your text items overlap. Next, we will look at the final tool set in PhotoKey 4 and focus on how to export and print images. Part 1 of our series on exporting will look at the export tool set in PhotoKey 4. A later video will examine batch exporting in PhotoKey 4 Pro.